Hey everybody, welcome to AI UX, a series about rapid UX design in Adobe Illustrator. Today I'm going to take a little bit of a break from our normal wireframing and UX endeavors to show you uh, some tricks in Illustrator with the Pathfinder and some shapes. So I was on Twitter this morning and Mike Beecham has a problem here. He says, hey guys, created this shape from individual segments, but this happens when sizing down. You can see um, it's got some seams in here and what he was doing was creating each one of these shapes individually and then sizing it down and then would get these white seams that would show up because the pixels would align, uh, misalign ever so slightly. So here's a quick video showing Mike how he can recreate that and get rid of his scene problem. Enjoy. Alright, so I've got your shape here. Open it up in Illustrator. Alright, so I'm gonna lock yours and I'm just gonna redraw this. I'm gonna make a square here, or a rectangle rather. Get the pen tool and add a point. Pull it down to about right there. Slide it over here. Use the eyedropper tool to get your color. I'm gonna make a um, copy of that. Pull this point over there and remove that point. Now I'm gonna put this in place beside that one. I'm gonna select your color right there. All right, so now I'm gonna get this rectangle for your stripe pieces here. I'm going to just make start off with a single shape. I'm going to use a rotate tool to bring that right in there. And I'm going to transform it like that and just pull it down. Have plenty of overlap. I'm going to copy that shape, reflect it, and hit OK. Pull that into place. Now I'll draw. Pull these over here, right in there. All right, so now I don't need these pieces here, so I'm gonna copy um, all three of these shapes. Whoops, all right, copy. And I'm gonna bring this shape to the front, and I'm gonna use my Pathfinder to take those sides off. So I'm gonna pull my shape over here so I can get rid of that section. I basically just want this shape to overlay what I don't want there. So now I can select these two and hit um, minus front. And then, oh wait, I'm going to make sure I copy that shape to my clipboard first. Paste it in place using command shift uh, V. And I'm going to do the same thing for all of these. All right, now I can get rid of these. Slide these back up here. Um, you can, I can do a line to top. There we go. And now I'm gonna take these two shapes and I'm gonna hit this thing here. This is divide, that way I can get um, just this shape in the middle. I'm gonna remove that point to get my triangle. Gonna use your color there and then for these background shapes I'm going to use that color and then set this opacity for those. Um, you can tweak the colors of that but that's essentially how I did it and then you can group those and then scale it down and you won't get much. You get you might get a little bit but it looks like for the most part there's not many seams so because you have this base, you have this base shape, and since these are full pieces, you know it kind of scales a little more fluidly, and that's it. All right, so if you enjoyed that, you can check out other videos at aiux.co, and if you have any questions or comments, let me know. You can hit me up on Twitter. I'm MDS, and thanks for watching.